Hello, my friends. How are you? This is me, Dr. Sergio Rovinsky from Shoulder Planet here from the city of Sao Paulo, Brazil. In this nice presentation, I'm showing you a complex case in a 64-year-old lady who had a sequelae of a Montague lesion in the right elbow. So the case was operated seven months after the trauma. The surgery was very difficult and we achieved a lovely final clinical result. So I hope you liked the video. Please don't forget, subscribe, leave your comment, give us your thumbs up and let's see the video. Montague lesions are known to be quite complex lesions that can occur in the elbow and its treatment can be even more complex when they are not properly recognized in an acute setting. So this case is about a 64-year-old woman who is diabetic and completely blind too. This patient had a felt over her right arm in September 2009 in which she much probably had a Montagia lesion that unfortunately was not properly diagnosed. This patient came to me in March 2010 complaining of pain and severe limitation on her right arm. Clinically, she had a huge deformity in her right elbow that was literally crooked, as we can see in this photo. Also, it seemed that not only she had had a fracture in her right elbow, but that it had healed in quite a various position too. In this photo, we can see that her right forearm was shortened and that she had severe pain in her wrist too in the distal radio ulnar joint. In this lateral view, we can see that she could extend her right arm but not fully pronate her right forearm and her right hand. And she complained a lot of not having a functional pronation for her daily activities. In this photo, it's clear that her right elbow could not flex more than 80 to 90 degrees. And due to that, she could not touch her mouth or her head with her right hand. AP x-rays revealed that there was a severe non-union in proximal hyuna and that the proximal hyuna had a huge varus deformity. Also, radio head had quite disappeared and the radio neck was literally touching the capitulum. Lateral x-ray revealed a clear non-union in the proximal hyuna and a huge distortion of all elbow bony anatomy. In this picture, we can see a 3D CT medial view in which it was clear that there, that there was a big butterfly fragment that definitely was not healed to any other bony piece. This is a 3D CT lateral view in which we can see that the radial neck was really touching the capitulum and almost articulating with it. In this image, we can see a 3D CT anterior view in which we can see that huge butterfly, butterfly fragment and it's clear that it had not healed to the proximal or the distal fragments of the ulna. This is a, a, a 3D CT posterior view in which we can see that the proximal ulna had a massive deformity in a verse position. So this patient was, was operated in April 2010. We performed an extended Boyd's approach and ulnar nerve was carefully isolated. Here in this picture, we can see all fragments cleaned and at that moment, the elbow was quite disassembled. In this movie, we can see all fragments released from scary tissue. And only after that, we would be, we would be able to assemble the, the, the elbow again. So we put a radio head prosthesis and a locket plate in the una, as we have seen here. And in this particular case, I prefer to cement the radio head prosthesis. This is a lateral view of the elbow with the final construct in which we can see the plate. And here in this video, we, we can see that the elbow 
had full range of motion just after all the construction was was made. The ulnar nerve was anteriorized in the subcutaneous tissue in the end of the surgery. In this picture, we can see the patient after one week of, of surgery, physical therapy was started very soon. And this is uh, the, the lateral X-ray taken the day after surgery. We can see that the elbow anatomy was then fully restored. This is the AP view, the X-ray AP view taken the day after surgery too, in which we can see that the butterfly fragment was not fully resected. I didn't feel very comfortable to resect it during surgery because it was too close to the anterior capsule and I wanted to avoid vascular or neurological problems in surgery. And also during, during surgery it was very clear that that remaining butterfly fragment would not bring problems to elbow motion too. This is the X ray lateral view taken six weeks after surgery in which we can see that the, the proximal hyuna was healing and that some heterotopic bone was developing in that area. This is the X the X ray lateral view taken four months after surgery in which we can see a bigger amount of heterotopic bone uh, and and we can also see that the proximal hyuna was healing quite good. And finally, this is the X-ray lateral view taken six months after surgery, in which we can see a huge amount of heterotopic bone. But the patient was absolutely free of pain at that moment. In this picture taken six months after surgery, we can see that the prior deformity was fully corrected, comparing the right arm to the left arm. Now the patient can touch her head again with the right hand and can perform her daily activities like brushing her hair or even brushing her teeth. In this photo, we can see the patient touching her mouth with her right hand. The patient gained with this surgery not only uh, elbow inflection but forearm pronation, which helped her a lot in all her daily activities. Finally, in this photo, we can compare the clinical aspect of the upper right extremity. And so, after surgery, the elbow anatomy was restored, both radiographically and clinically, as we can see in this final photo taken seven months after surgery. Thank you. So, thank you, my friends, for watching the video, this nice and difficult case. So please don't forget, subscribe, give us your thumbs up, leave your comment, and as Dr. Sergio always says, never stop flying. See you, my friends.